Congressman, what steps do you think Congress should be taking? And are you concerned about people using AI to manipulate the truth and spread misinformation? Does it need regulation? Well, first, I think it's important to understand what AI is. It's a mathematical model that basically amplifies human-created input. And that means that it's a tool, not a creature. It does tasks, not jobs. My concern is what happens if it gets into the wrong hands? What happens if it gets into Putin's hands, into Iran's hands? That's the biggest challenge. And second, uh, what if it's uh, amplifying in a very, very big way misinformation? And those are places we need regulation. Well, isn't it inevitable that as it develops, between us, China, and other you know, major technology com countries, it's going to get in the wrong hands. It could. And here is, Andrea, the big challenge that we need to, as Americans, weigh. On the one hand, uh, you want some of this software to be open source because you don't just want Microsoft, Google, and OpenAI being the only players in the United States. On the other hand, if something is open source, it can get into the wrong hands. There's, I have much more confidence in Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI being responsible stewards than I do if this is going to China or Russia. And so as a Congress, we're going to have to weigh what is the trade-off between protecting our national security and allowing new startups and entry to enter this field. We've seen Congress, shall we be charitable, stumble at previous hearings involving high tech. Uh, what is your confidence that, China, that Congress knows how to regulate this? Should it be up to the administration, whatever administration? Should it come from the intelligence or commerce sectors? Um, what do you say to that? I don't think Congress has the ability to get out into the details. And look, the reality is this is being regulated right now but by smart engineers at Microsoft, Google, and OpenAI. Uh, these hearings are largely theatrical, but the people making the decisions are at these companies. What I would rather see is that we pass legislation to get technology experts as well as ethicists uh, at a commission, maybe at the FTC or FCC, who can then regulate it. But there is no way Congress has the technical competence to do the detail regulation. And really what we've seeded is these uh, technologists are really making the guardrails right now. Now, I want to turn to the debt limit talks today because uh, the president certainly hinted at one of the things that he might be prepared to compromise in, which is work requirements for federal aid programs, for food assistance, Medicaid benefits. Is that a non-starter for Democrats, Democrats like yourself? It's a non-starter for me. I mean, Peter Edelman, I remember, resigned over this in the 1990s. I mean, the studies are so clear that work requirements don't make people work more. What it does is deprive uh, folks who need the help of food, it, uh, people who are on the street, people who are homeless, people who are disabled. Uh, and it's just cruel, especially as we see the slowing down of the economy. I'm hopeful the president will stick to what he said, that we pay our debts and then we can negotiate on the budget. By the way, one thing we should cap is tax cuts for the wealthy and for corporations. Why don't we have a cap on that? That will start to reduce our deficits. Congressman Ro Khanna, thanks very much. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. And